Preston, it's a mathematical certainty for a while, but uh, what does it mean to make the playoffs and be in the playoffs every year that you've been in the NHL? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously, uh, you know, it feels good. It's obviously a big honor to just to get in. So um, obviously we still got some work left to do and you know, we're playing some teams here that, um, you know, some that are going to be pretty desperate to, to try to get in the playoffs and some that are already in as well. And um, I think just using these last nine games to just dial in every aspect of our game and make sure that we're kind of rolling and firing on all cylinders. You seem to be really rolling right now. Sheldon has mentioned your skating, especially through the neutral zone, as being a key. I'm wondering why you think that's clicked in so well for you here of late, whether it's coming off the knee or maybe Cali's chemistry or anything. I mean, it may be a little bit of, uh, you know, both and a couple things, but yeah, I just feel like we're connecting really well, um, you know, through all three zones, um, finding each other, um, you know, recognizing when there's a play to be made and uh, and getting in, into the guy, uh, you know, that has speed and there's a little space. So, you know, I think we've been meshing pretty well uh, and uh, I just want to keep that going, um, you know, not get too too far ahead of ourselves, make sure we're still playing the right way and, and being responsible on our own end and uh, taking care of pucks, which, you know, I think we've been doing a pretty good job of, uh, especially the last, uh, you know, two, three games. So. I know it's kind of a different game in the playoffs, but how transferable is it, do you feel like, when you're hot down the stretch to going in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, obviously you want to be in that, uh, you know, in that state, I guess, that mentality. And, um, you know, we certainly uh, have a lot to play for with uh, with how close, uh, you know, Tampa is and obviously trying to get the home ice and everything. So, like I said, we just want to continue to uh, put our foot on the gas and, and not, uh, you know, not take a breath uh, these last couple of weeks of the season and, um, you know, just try to dial in every aspect of our game and, and uh, keep it rolling. So. When it's so virtually assured, also, who you're going to play in the first round, how much time do you spend track in Tampa Bay down the stretch, or do you just totally put them out of your mind until time goes? I mean, I think it's pretty natural to keep an eye on on them and uh, and stuff like that. But you know, obviously, the main focus is in this locker room and on this team. So, what did you think of what's going through your mind when Mitch does the header kind of pass to set you and Kelly up there? Yeah, I mean, I had to take a second look. Uh, the puck went in the neutral zone and kind of had that space, so um, I had to kind of get it together and start wheeling up the ice a little bit. And uh, but yeah, it was a pretty cool play. He was chuckling. We got back to the bench, um, asking us if we saw it, and uh, obviously I mean, it was pretty obvious, you know, his, his whole head movement. But yeah, it was just a cool play. I mean, uh, just thinking outside the box, and obviously it almost worked out. Uh, you know, I got to your hat the goal. He made a pretty, pretty nice save there. But uh, obviously, just the creativity and the willingness to pull it off is, uh, you know, pretty special. The NHLPA poll came out. I guess a new category this year: shoe game. You led the way. What do you make of that? Sweet. Yeah. Do you have a favorite pair of kicks? Not really, honestly. Yeah, I just kind of, uh, I just go with the flow, whatever I like on that day. So um, I don't pay too much, too mind, too much mind to it, I guess. I saw your parents up there. Like, I don't know how often they get into town, but it's cool to kind of have them here. Yeah, it's nice. Um, you know, today they had to run some errands out this way, so they figured they'd come watch practice and uh, and stop by. So, I mean, it's always nice to spend time with them and, uh, you know, see my mom. Uh, you know, I haven't seen her in a little while, so, um, you know, it means a lot. They're obviously, uh, you know, amazingly uh, amazing and, you know, support me all the time. And so it's just nice to, you know, have a couple days this week to just really uh, spend some time with them and just relax a little bit. I'm sure if you were asked already, but do you, the guys who've been here the longest, do you take a minute to appreciate making the playoffs as many years as you guys have in the world? It's yeah. two games and yeah. getting here is part of the battle, right? For sure, it's part of the battle, absolutely. And I think, you know, you got to recognize uh, the work that goes into it and, and those 82 games to put yourself in this position. And um, yeah, like I said, I think it's important to recognize, but obviously, uh, you know, the job's nowhere uh, close to being, you know, finished or done. And um, you know, just want to focus in on, on these last remaining games and take it day by day. And, and once that time comes, uh, we're going to be ready. Ilya, what has the last week been like for you? Uh, probably the best week in my life, yeah. A lot of a lot of emotion, a lot of nervous, but I mean, like, good nervous, yeah, before he's born. Yeah, but right now, last four days, we stay all together, and at home is unbelievable. I feel, I feel perfect, you know, like what time he's come for me or my skin. Yeah, you feel so warm. Yeah, it's so cute. What's his name? Miroslav. Miroslav. Mira. Yeah. Any 
named after anybody or huh? is he named for someone or just you like the name? No, no, no. We just like it, this name. Yeah. With my wife, we, what time we see a first time him. Yeah. We said, yeah, this Miroslav for sure. Were you right there in the delivery room and all that? What, what was that thing? Were you right there in the delivery room? Delivery room? Uh, yep, yep, but I didn't see how was this one was going on. You know, as doctor asked me, you want to see? I said, no, 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 just to call me after. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, what time I see him first, yeah, I got some shock a little bit, but I mean, it's a good shock. Did you cut the cord? No, 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 for sure. No, no, man, it's not for me. I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm afraid this. <laughs> Let the doctors be the doctors. Right? Yeah, and we like his doctor. He's uh, speaking Russian. Oh, good. Yes, so nice. He's helping for us with everything, yeah. And a Leafs fan, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Anybody don't ask it me. I don't talk a lot in the hospital, you know, I'm just staying nervous a little bit. <laughs> Have you been on the ice since we saw you Wednesday in New York, or is this your first time back on the ice? No, 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 I'm I'm skate a couple times before today. I'm skate with uh, John Ilkin. Okay. Yeah, I'm skate with him and uh, like uh, Victor Meta and a couple more guys. Uh, yeah, we just prepared for uh, today. A little bit skate, uh, like goal ice, a little bit see shots and back on track, yeah. You ready to go tomorrow if you're asked? Yes, yes, for sure. Are you getting, is your sleep schedule changed? I uh, first couple of days, yeah, but right now we sleep in a different room. Me and my dog, he's smart too, yeah. <laughs> he's want to sleep too, a little bit. Uh, yeah, we sleep in a different room right now. Yeah. What do you stand out about Florida, the challenge tomorrow? Yeah, this guy's uh, two points uh, for touch to some playoff, yeah. Uh, this will be hard game with us and uh, with Florida too, I believe so. And uh, this is good prepared before a playoff too. We get some a lot of game like uh, playoff level right now. It's uh, good for both teams. I think uh, this will be an interesting game for everybody. I know the last week obviously has been pretty busy for you, you but clinch the playoff spot. Uh, it's been virtually assured you guys are going to face Tampa for quite some time. How, how much time do you spend tracking Tampa Bay and following what they're up to these days? Uh, we know we'll be playing with Tampa in the playoff, I think maybe in February or January, yeah? yeah. Everybody knows this. Uh, not surprise for us. Uh, you know, it's, and uh, nothing changed, you know, like we just uh, live day by day. We just uh, get some better tomorrow than we've been today. Uh, yeah, we just uh, we're not focusing for Tampa, you know. Like we're just uh, focusing for us game right now. Did you watch the, the Leafs games when you were home? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think about what Austin looks like right now? Uh, I see in the practice today too. Uh, I think his confidence is so high right now. Uh, he's moving great. Yeah, he's got a good shape right now. This perfect, this, this perfect timing <laughs> for us and uh, for him. I'm so excited for him. You know, like this year, I think it will be a challenge for him. You know, like uh, I mean, uh, after special like last year, what time he scored a lot of goals. Yeah, and it will be a challenge for him. But I think he's in his perfect spot right now. I'm, I believe him. I'm so excited for him. Is it? Is it good? Is it good. He's good. Uh, you know, like he's not first game, yeah. yeah. In the NHL, everybody know his level. He shows this one in a NHL games, uh, American League. Yeah. Uh, not surprised for everybody. He's skate with us. He's working hard. Yeah, and uh, this is just uh, like a gift for him. Yeah, like, like uh, I don't know how to say English correct. Yeah, but. If you working hard and if you in a good mental spot, you gotta you play good games, yeah. Are you 100%? Sheldon said you were a bit less than 100% before you Like, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. Uh, we figure out with my injury, yeah, uh, because we have time. We have five days. I'm stay here with the doctors. Uh, we're working with my injury. Uh, yeah, I feel perfect. I didn't feel hurts anymore. Yeah, uh, I think I'm. 100%. Yeah. What was the I don't talk about this. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.
that line, if Noel's back, uh, could be a pretty all agitating kind of line. Like, what do you what do you make of the mix there? Yeah, I think uh, with our speed um, and our grip that we can, you know, get it on the four check, um, cause havoc, and also make some plays and kind of get those greasy goals and go to those areas. So, um, I think that's what we we got to expect to do every single night um, that we're playing with one another. Um, like I said, laugh speed is, is great, and um, Cookie's, uh, you know, grit and physical, plays physical, and he gets into the corners, and he can make plays. So, um, yeah, I like playing with both of them. What, what value do you get out of that six on five work? You don't maybe get to work on it so much. Like, what do you take from that? Yeah, we, I don't think we get a lot. We don't work on it a lot. So, obviously, uh, coming to crunch time now, um, games are really close, and um, we don't want to be ever using uh, six on five, but. Um, I think it's a good thing to practice because, like I said, the, the games will be very close coming up here and especially going into playoffs, and we may find ourselves in that situation. So we've got to practice it, practice it and um, I, thought, I thought it was good. How's Austin looking to you right now? Yeah, he's, he's on his game. What do you have, 15 shots in Carolina? That's, that's pretty impressive. And, you know, he's shooting that well, and, um, and he's, he's playing uh, confident with the puck, and he's showing his elite skill. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's nice to see. <coughs> playoffs coming up. Can you just talk about clinching a spot and the fact that you guys have, have done it again? It's been a, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not an easy feat. No, absolutely. Obviously, we have to acknowledge that that you know it's been a good year so far, and that's that's what we plan to to do when we uh, we came into here is to make the playoffs, and um, that's one step. And uh, the next step is obviously trying to get home ice and and then go from there. So. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought you know we got to be proud of what we've done, and, but we got a lot of work ahead of us. Late in the game on the Sunday, the cameras panned to the bench. Six minutes left in the third. Sheldon and you were having a conversation. It, like, what was going on there? Because it, it looked like maybe you weren't looking at him. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I'll leave that uh, between Kiefer and I. But what I'll, I will say is Kiefer and I have a, a good relationship. We've known each other for a very long time, and um, yeah, there's not really much to see there. Um, okay. Yeah, me and Kiefer. Uh, known each other for a very long time and like I said I he's one of the reasons I, I came to Toronto so um, yeah we'll, we'll leave it at that. He knows how to get the best out of you I guess kind of he's talked about he knows William well to kind of poke him sometimes. Yeah like yeah he, we we know one another he knows how obviously how to coach me and he knows how how I am and, and what kind of player I am so um, like I said there's I wouldn't really look much into that and um, yeah it's just another day. Does your game change much when you're playing with Nolan and, and uh, Sam there? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I, I try to still play uh, my offensive, you know, way and um, be, um, you know, defensive as well. But also, yeah, I think I think all three of us have um, are hard on the forecheck, and that's what I, I do, and that's what I bring to any line I play with. So I think we just got to read off each other more and, and know who's going in and then who's going to be the, the the high guy because I feel like all three of us want to just get in there and, and try to hound on that puck. So um, yeah, obviously it's been one game, and um, we'll, we're going to learn from one another and, and get comfortable with one another. How motivated are you, though, to get back on Austin's line, just considering mm -hmm. the chemistry you have when you have it up there? Yeah, like, uh, like obviously, I'm, I'm happy to play anywhere, to be honest. Uh, that's first, second, third, or fourth line. I, I want to help this team win. And, um, yeah, it doesn't matter where I am. I'm going to play my, my game, and I'm going I'm to bring it every single night. So um, that's what I plan to do. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm happy wherever I am. Like our grit line, history shows, is really built you know, or can have success in the playoffs, how mm -hmm. the team win. Can you comment on that, like how you the three guys could you know, fill that role? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think playoffs is, is hard hockey, and, and that's where it um, comes out. And um, you got to be willing to go in those areas. you got to be willing to kind of take that hit and, and give that hit. So I think if we can go out there and bring that energy every single time and, and play offensive and, and – and you know, try to force turnovers and whatnot, and even get a greasy goal here and there. I think that's great, and I think that will bring a lot of momentum to our team. So, um, I think if we can be that four-checking line, I think that's a good add. Um, can that line also, you know, for lack of a better word, get under skin and change a game that way? Oh, I think for sure. I think just with all of our games, just the way we play. Anytime you go into the corners, anytime you're physical or, or in front of the net, things kind of happen and. Uh, trip battles or whatever kind of tend to happen. So, I mean, if we want to bring that that side too, we we can. So, um, yeah, I think I think you know I think we can complement this team, um, all three of us, if we are on our game. Can the players take a small moment to bask in making the playoffs. That's a long road ahead, but uh, making the playoffs is it? Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, I, th I mean, we we spoke about it very briefly today. Just that um, obviously, obviously, we're focused on. On bigger things, but 
you know, as you're going through this journey, you, you have to qualify for the playoffs before you can do anything else. So uh, to that end, I think it's it was worth acknowledging to the point that, you know, we sitting at home and you acknowledge us or you, you uh, clinch a spot with nine games remaining. Obviously, if the, with that being the case, you've done some good things along the way to put ourselves in that in that position. So uh, we acknowledge that and then we, we moved on to, to the bigger things. When Austin gets going like he's going, it's obviously great for him. What does it mean to the team? How does it impact everybody? Yeah, it makes everybody better. I, I, I've really, since I've been in this, in this job or on this job, you know, I've talked to Austin about his ability to impact the team in ways far greater than just scoring goals or producing offense. I think uh, the, the the best players uh, impact the team and make each, make their teammates better, not just those that they play with. And I think we focus so much on what's what happens with the guys he's on the ice with, and and of course there's big impacts there. But when you really truly have a great player and uh, a team that is a true team is the players on the ice start to really impact the players that are on the bench waiting. They come over the boards in a better position than they might they, they otherwise otherwise might. So that's really where and you have a player like Austin playing the way that he is. We have Mitch, um, you know, when he's really going, which he has been so much through the season, Willie, John, these guys not only make their line mates better on that shift, but the momentum of the game swings in our favor and those coming over the boards come out in positive you know, positive situations. And we focus a lot these days on offensive zone starts and defensive zone starts and these kind of things, and that's from face-offs. But I think when you're playing live, and changing on the fly, uh, there's another area there. Where you can, you have the game in a good spot when your opponent, when your teammates are getting out there. Not only are they feeding off your energy and momentum from them watching you play, but now you're leaving the game in a better spot uh, than you found it. And that's what really being a great player to me is about, more so than just goals and assists. And, and Austin um, has that ability, perhaps even greater than any of our guys, uh, you know, particularly with the role that he plays as a center. Yeah, I'd say just <clears throat> the pace that he's playing with both ways, the way his feet are moving, and then just his strength in the battles and his willingness to engage physically. Uh, you know, he's not running around finishing checks or anything like that, but he's he's engaging on, on every puck and either winning the puck or disrupting the play enough so that the next play becomes one that's winnable for us. Uh, and again, that's just another area that shows up that uh, shows up on video and shows up in the game and the energy and the momentum swings. Maybe not so much on the score sheet, and that's what we need from players like that. All of our players, but even more so, uh, guys like Austin that we lean on so much. How much are you and your staff starting to watch Lightning games? Are you keeping an eye on it? Are you starting to look for tendencies there? Well, obviously, it's an opponent that we know quite well, uh, but we, you know, we, we always keep an eye on teams in our division specifically. All season long, we keep more of an eye towards that. We play them more than anyone, but uh, yeah, of course, this time of the year, we're paying more attention to what's happening there. Riley, out before practice, it's got to be a good sign. What's the, the plan, sort of the approach yeah. for him over the next week or so? Yeah, uh, just to continue to, to ramp him up and, and make sure that things respond positively, both uh, as he's shooting more, handling pucks more, uh, and then also just making sure that he's uh, he's safe in terms of you know, minimizing risk for re-injury. So that's really it. Uh, today, obviously, he didn't practice. He did everything but practice, and he got a lot of work in individually himself before we even got out there. And then, um, you know, the hope is they'll continue to progress towards practice here. I would call it unlikely to play this week, you know, but you know, that hasn't been ruled out necessarily. But I think uh, the plan is more to kind of ramp them up through this week and look more towards next. Charles, in the age-old debate, rest versus rust, and, you know, the sports science involved in there too, but what's your philosophy on as we get closer to the end of the regular season, what are you going to do with your top guy? Yeah, well, look at where we're at. It's obviously with our defense, we've you know we've built in some somewhat of a rotation here. Where we've given some guys nights off and managed it that way. Uh, I mean, we we practice today with eleven forwards healthy, uh, so we've got to <clears throat> be mindful of that. We still have to ice a team. There are limitations on what you can do, uh, but uh, something we're mindful of whether that's managing minutes or. Uh, or reducing 
workload in terms of actual games played for guys. We'll look at that. But first and foremost for us, we, we want to continue to build our game. I thought we took really positive steps in a lot of ways on this road trip that we just got back from. And uh, I'd like to see that come back into you know, home ice this week and a bit of a, you know, a lighter load uh, in terms of games this week. And then it starts to really ramp up for us as we get into April and, and into this weekend. So we have more opportunities for us to get our game in a good spot. And we'll just take it a day at a time and seeing where guys are at, seeing where we're at as a team in terms of our game and how we're playing. Uh, there was a, a, a lot of really good signs uh, last week for us. And, and then, of course, you know, we're still in a position here. We, we want to get point, as many points as we can. So we've got to be mindful of all of those things. But uh, the most important thing is that we, we keep our group healthy. We lost another forward there with a cherry uh, the other night. Um, he's day to day at this point, but uh, he's not going to be available tomorrow. So obviously those are the kind of things that, I'm, that are most on my mind. So if we can reduce workload, perhaps it helps keep us healthy. So keep that in mind. 11 and 7 tomorrow then? Yes. Any update on Gustafson? There's, there's no update status quo for that. He's still, he's still not with the team. Where are you at with Timothy's game? What, what do you like? What areas do you think he can improve? Well, what I like about Timothy is he's had a terrific season for us, and he's taken tremendous steps towards being an everyday player, a reliable player. He's been a real key for us at different times this season when we've really had to lean on him. You know, the challenge for, for Timothy now and, and you know, other defensemen on our team is the situation has changed, right? We've added additional depth. At times we've played seven, so this, you know uh, there's a lot to manage there, and it can be more challenging for a younger player that hasn't been through such a situation. Um, so, my messaging to to Lily is that you know this is this is a little bit of adversity in terms of the situation changing. Um, I think when the playoffs begin, that in itself is some adversity, and things change. The the atmosphere, the environment changes, the pressures change. So the ability to handle all these types of things are really important for all of our D, but especially the younger ones that haven't been through it as much. But uh, I want Lily to just focus on the fact that he's been an excellent defenseman for us all season long, and there's a little bit of adversity here right now, and we'd like to help him through it. Do you notice a sense of relief on Samsonov's shoulders this week compared to last week before he left the team? Yeah, there's certainly he's... Um, uh, there's a lot less on his mind, for sure. I think he, everything went very well. He's very happy. Um, I think from what he's communicated, he's very appreciative of how we handled it in terms of giving him the appropriate time. And the team still pressed on and did well and allowed him to just focus uh, on his wife and, and uh, rival. And I think he's enjoying the early days as a dad. And now it's uh, about you know adjusting to that new life and getting, uh, getting back into his regular routine. How do you plan on settling the goalie debate over the last few games of the season ahead of the playoffs? Well, the, the goalies are going to play. Both guys are going to play. You know, we've got a very busy schedule, and then we'll, we've got lots of time here to, to sort that out in terms of that decision. But most importantly is that we've got two goalies that uh, are feeling good and confident and, and are comfortable in the net and healthy. So. We'll keep all of that in mind. And obviously, you have to acknowledge the fact that Joe Wall did a tremendous job for us the other night, too. So I feel really good about where we're at there with our depth. With about six minutes left in the third, you had a discussion on the bench with Bunting uh, in Nashville. He was kind of doing this look ahead thing. Any issue with that, or is that just two guys who know each other really well? Well, I don't know. I mean, obviously, Bunting, I do have, uh, have a relationship that goes far beyond uh, here. So, but that's not, not anything I focus on or think about. Uh, it's a non-issue for me. I give players a lot of leeway and, and, a, and a pass, essentially, especially for those that come right off the ice. You know, it's you uh, for me to expect a player coming right from the heat of a battle to sit on the bench and then be a true gentleman when I want to go talk to him. That's I'm putting myself at risk in, in going to, into that situation. So, uh, but yeah, not not an issue for me. I think uh, he got the message. Like he said, "No, I understand. And I know that he hears me." Um, but I don't overthink those kind of things, especially on the bench in, in the heat of the moment. How much is it you wanting to challenge him to work his way back to Matthew's line versus liking that third line as kind of a, a pesky line? Well, I'd, I'd say it's both. You know, Obviously, I think the way that things had gone there, um, that, that the Matthews line needed to change. And we've worked our way through some things there and, and have landed on something that we've really liked and has worked really well. So 
uh, you know, we had bunting with, with Willie and John, and, and that's something that, you know, hasn't gone well in the past, and we went away from it and decided to go back and give it another run and just thought some of the things defensively, you know, hadn't been cleaned up the way we would like it to be. So that needed to be a change. I wanted to put Kerfoot there to solidify things, as we talked about the other night. And then so you kind of land on a different line there, but uh, uh, there's elements there that I really, I do really like. Three real competitors with Achari and Lafferty and, and, and Bunce, of course. We know how he plays and what he's like. So there's some elements there, and all three guys have got a good skill set to still be able to make plays and score and be on the puck. So I think that's part of what we've gone through here is just working through some different options and you land on different things that you get a look at. Um, I, I think Bunce, his game has really improved here in the last week to two weeks. He's making lots more plays. He's skating better to me. He looks like he's playing with a freer mind and and uh, looks to be finding his game again. Um, I've talked to him uh, at length about some defensive things that are really important, but to me his game has really been trending in a good direction.